Okay, my cat just entered in. Okay. Let's get this started. Hey guys, it's Anna Ford. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to talk about, well, from the thumbnail and from the title, you should know that I'm talking about I graduated college, now what? Well, lucky for you, I just graduated. <laughs> so I just graduated from college about two weeks ago with a bachelor's degree. Um, I went to FIT, or Fashion Institute of Technology, and I majored in uh, international trade and marketing for the fashion industries. I know it's a long title. Basically, it's about importing goods and, and exporting goods in and out of the country, global sourcing, and it has marketing too, so I, my focus was more on um, market research, global marketing, um, marketing for luxury brands. Prior to that, I have an associate's degree in fashion buying and merchandising. So the real question is, most people ask this, is like, what do I do now after college? Because it's normal for people to not know what they want to do. And I felt like, well, this is a great opportunity to make a video out of this because people who have graduated now in December or have graduated now in January or are going to graduate this coming May or June of 2018, 2019, <laughs> 2019 um, they may not know what they want to do or they have, they had an idea what to do these past four, four years or so and then when they graduate they kind of change their career path which is totally normal. So you're going to feel like you know, nervous, you're gonna feel kind of scared because you're stuck in this routine of exams, finals, midterms, spring break. All of a sudden now you're out into the world and stuff. You're out into the world, you're gonna be like an adult now. Like an adult adult. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's normal, totally normal to feel nervous, to feel scared, to feel angry, even to feel confused as to what to do. It's okay to feel happy and, and what, anything you're feeling, it's okay because the best part is that you did it. You've got your degree, you've won, your parents can leave you alone now. You've done it. Yay! Before I get started, I want to talk about my um, experience in college, uh, the whirlwind experience that I've had. And then jump into like, you know, different situations and topics that, or, or suggestions that can help somebody who needs to like get maybe some ideas on what to do after college. Um, so I started college at the age of 17. I was very young. I turned 18 that year. So I had, I have a late birthday. So people were already 18 when I entered college. I was still 17. I went to City Tech in downtown Brooklyn. Um, and I did fashion marketing there. My dream college was FIT, it was old FIT, but I couldn't get into FIT at the time um, because of my grades. My grades sucked in high school. They were okay my junior and senior year, but then it wasn't enough to make up because I lacked a lot of good grades in like freshman and sophomore year. So FIT was like, nope, sorry. And I was devastated, like I cried. Like I, I was like a mess. When I got the rejection letter, I was like, <laughs> So but the city tech was like, well, we have a fashion marketing, um, you know, program. I was like, all right, cool. So I'm going to Brooklyn then. Two years later, I failed college. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I wasn't ready for college. If anything, I could have taken a, a year off after I graduated high school to figure out, you know, hey, like, hey, let me just let me get more mature, get more experience at working. But I, after high school, I jumped into college, and then those two years in City Tech were a nightmare. I basically failed, and I tried to appeal for, for my grade. I tried to appeal to get back into school, and they were not having it. So CUNY was like, I right, get out of here, peace, you're done. And I was just like, at the age of 19 turned 20, I was really, like, I was depressed. I was really sad that I failed. Um, it was really embarrassing, but you know, I'm going to go into that more into detail in another video. Um, but I basically found another college, which is Nassau Community College, or NTC for short, all the way in Garden City, Long Island. And thank God I had a car, so I was able to just drive there and, um, you know, commute instead of taking a bus, because it was going to be a two hour commute by bus, buses, buses, and by car, it's only half an hour on a southern state from where I live in Queens. So yeah, I, I went to the NCC and I studied fashion buying and merchandising there within two years, about two years, cause it was on and off. I, t I did part-time sometimes, I did full-time sometimes. And financially issues really set me back sometimes. I, 
I graduated now to an associate's degree in fashion brand merchandising, and I did some internships under my belt and whatnot. And I'm like, oh, okay, I think I can go into FIT now. And I applied for their fashion business management program for fall of the following year, 2016. But they waitlisted me. They're like, you have good grades, but we don't have enough space. So if there's some space available to open up, you know, then you can do it. And I'm like, I'm hoping that I can get it. <laughs> and I didn't get it. I actually got rejected twice from FIT. <laughs> I applied for 2017 spring semester, but they didn't have um, fashion business management uh, bachelor's degree. They only had associate's degree. They only have it offered for the fall semester, it's not spring. So I'm like, what am I gonna do? I wanted to get into the school, but so I talked to admissions and they said that, well, you have, there's a similar major called international trade and marketing or ITM and you can get in and I'm like okay I'll apply. I got the letter after election year of 2016 which was devastating for most New Yorkers <clears throat> and I was so happy because I was like yay I got into FIT. I got in and I got into my I got into ITM program and I was gonna just do ITM for a semester and then change to FBM. I actually stayed in ITM and you know I liked it a lot I actually liked the marketing side of it which was great and it was very unique most people from FBM actually transferred to ITM or AMC which is another type of major I graduated December like basically two weeks ago <laughs> and I'm like I know what I want to do I want to get a job in the field that I studied in you know and I've did internships I've done study abroad in Paris as you saw in my vlogs I've done I've had a lot of retail experience so I know what customers want but job hunting has been, I mean, it just started, so I can't really like elaborate on, oh, how it's been, but like, so far, it's all right. Like I'm going to a different, I've had two interviews so far. <laughs> one thing for sure is after graduation, number one, job hunting, if you're going to do a job hunting immediately after graduation or like a little bit before graduation, which is even better. But in my case, it was during the holidays and it was stressful because of finals. I didn't really apply for any jobs. So that's why I just started now after the holiday season because I graduated in an awkward time where like many corporate offices are on vacation. So they're like not really looking for candidates candidates right now, but I'm pretty sure like around February or, or March, they'll probably start to look for some candidates, I think, hopefully. So what, we, what I did in college, which I think is good is to build your resume while you're in college. Meaning get a part-time job somewhere or do an internship through your school. Like my school, FIT, um, has, has a whole big office on career internships. So they helped and they have a, a database of jobs that they put on their uh, website. So I just applied for those type of uh, internships and I got like an internship through FIT, which is great. Um, and it was paid too. It wasn't for credit though, but it was, it was paid, which is great. So I felt like with the internships, I can build, I can put on a resume and got, get experience in the industry of what I want to get into. If you're not graduating yet, but you're graduating in May and you're still in, in college, I recommend you do internships. I stress it, internships is great. Another thing that I wanted to add to my resume when I was in college was to study abroad. Studying abroad has always been in my head for years. And when I was in state tech, I wanted to study abroad. It didn't happen when I was in NASA, I was like, I don't know if they offer study abroad, but I want to do something with study abroad. So I'm hoping that I was like, okay, FIT, I'm going to study abroad. So I studied abroad in um, Paris um, last summer in 2018 for about a month. I will talk more in depth and detail about my study abroad experience later in another video. Here's what to do after college, which I think is going to help the most people. And it's one thing to do, you should probably do it before you graduate, but if you do it after you graduate, it's fine create a LinkedIn page. LinkedIn is a place to website, website, where you can create a profile and upload your resumes and cover letters and apply for jobs to employees and big corporations who have job postings on LinkedIn. And it's worldwide, so if you wanna get a job somewhere outside, like, you know, your country, you can go to LinkedIn and apply for jobs to LinkedIn Is there, there's like a hair, there's a hair on my, in my lip and it bothers the crap out of me. Okay, another site to source to go through is your college, FIT. My campus, FIT, offered, offers um, job recruiters 
to help students find internships and jobs. So I'm gonna actually head over to FIT at some point to look at my resume and then fix it and see if I'm just maybe not getting the right ideas across and, and you know, and creating a better cover letter because I feel like cover letters for me are always tricky for me. Um, so definitely check, use your college. You've graduated from college, that college. You spent money in that college. So they still have services available for alumni. So check it out. They are always there to help. Also check this site called Indeed, which I don't put the logo right here. Indeed is another jobs, uh, job board site where they post up jobs on Indeed. And you can type in any type of like, like position you want, market, marketing assistant, anything. You want to put on Indeed and it'll have it there and you can put your city and they have an easy way of applying or you can just like you know go to the actual company website and apply there. What's really important in college right now is to make connections and I cannot stress this enough. Make connections, make friends with people in your class because you never know they might figure out some type of opportunity, they might get a job. And maybe that job is hiring other people who are from the same, like, you know, major or from the same, like, school. And your friend might be like, hey, there's a job, my job is hiring, you want to apply? I can put a good, a good word for you. And then, you know, your friend's like, you get a job because you're a friend. It happens. So, like, the people who made Warby Parker, which is this glasses company, they were classmates in college. And then they were, they became friends because they had a group assignment. So, now they're like millionaires. <laughs> And they own a lot of boutiques in the city. So Warby Parker is another example of, you should, of why you should make connections in college. So many of us who don't know what to do after college, that's totally fine. I have a friend, a classmate who, not a friend, like a classmate who basically said that she is going to take like six months off after graduation, which is totally fine. And her parents are okay with it because she wants to kind of like chill. You know, I, I totally agree. Like, hey, if you don't know what you want to do, it's okay to take a break. Not a long one, but take a temporary break on what, you know, what you want to figure out, what you want to do. And it could be anything you want. You can volunteer for things, which is awesome actually, because, you know, free work is something that people do and it can also it might be help somebody in their life. So what you can do, is maybe even travel. Now I know what you I know what you're saying, like, oh travel, I don't got the money. But you can travel if you want, if you have enough money saved up, or if your parents can help you out, or you can get a small part-time job where you can like save up some money and travel. Perhaps I always like to tell people to travel. Always travel, always go somewhere and see the world in different perspectives, you know, see different cultures, see different people, eat different foods, like see the sunset in different cities. Like go out there, because I like to travel and it, it really humbles you, you know, it humbles you, it opens your mind, and then you might even like want to say, hey, I might get a job here, I might stay here. Why well, I see myself doing this now, you know? Another thing you can do after graduation is to perhaps, you know, figure out a hobby, you know, like uh, do a hobby you want to do that can possibly give you money. Start a YouTube channel, start a blog, start anything, you know, read a book, start a book club, you know, do anything. I think it's fine that people don't want to get a job right after college. It's okay, you know. And if you, even if you take a year off and you get an interview and they ask you that question, you can simply say that, you know, I'm just trying, I was just trying to figure out what I want to do in life and I figure out it's my passion now and I'm okay and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I just think that it's not that big of a deal, or it's not that scary after graduating college, but maybe people make it a big deal. Alright guys, so I think that's it. Um, be sure to, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe for more videos. Um, next video, I'm going to probably post up my Canada vlog or my uh, experience in studying abroad and tips and tricks on what to do when you study abroad. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Bye!